Hey, Dr. Tyler Williams with Better Sleep SLC. Thanks for checking out this video. You're here because you have some questions about oral sleep appliances or dental sleep appliances and you're wondering if they really work and if they're actually medical equipment or how they work and how this compares to a CPAP or surgery or maybe sleeping on your side or just, you know, changing your bed and those kind of things. And those are all great questions that a lot of people ask. So we kind of put this in two categories. Category one would be supplements and positioning and diet and exercise. Okay. Those are things that enhance category two, which is your treatment. And generally your treatment involves one of three options or a combination of three options. But first, I want to mention that I myself wear an oral sleep appliance, so I practice what I preach, and I'll talk more about that on a set in a second. But in your second category, you have the uh, dental sleep appliance you wear in your mouth, keeps your tongue from blocking your airway. And your, your other option is a CPAP that blows air, and that air blows past the blockage in your airway or past your tongue. And then the third one is surgery. Right now, there's a common one called an Inspire implant. And that actually implant goes in your collarbone and it actually stimulates or turns on the nerve that makes your tongue work and that makes your tongue move out of your mouth. So with obstructive sleep apnea and most cases of snoring, the problem is your tongue, right? Could be your airway small, could be your tongue's too large, could be you have too much muscle or fat around your neck or chin. Could be a combination of those things. So uh, most people use one of those three in this second category, one of those three treatment options to improve their sleep. And some people have to do a combination of two of those three. Uh, not many patients that I've seen have to do all three. In fact, I can't think of any, but I've seen a fair number that do a combination of two. Most are doing one. And then your category one, which is all your supplements, your sleep aid, your pillows that help you stay on your side, your changes in diet, exercise, your bed, uh, avoiding excess blue light and mobile devices before bed, all those kind of things. Those enhance, in our experience, the treatment in category two. But we've not found that someone with snoring or sleep apnea you know, simply by getting some different supplements or bed pillows or positioning will get rid of the sleep apnea. Now, can uh, reduce some of the symptoms, but alone, it's typically not enough. So as I mentioned earlier, I wear a dental sleep appliance and here's why I wear a dental sleep appliance. And if you'd like to talk some more on this specific subject, okay, you can call or text our office, our contact information, is below this video and you can set up an appointment or consultation to come in and go over this. Um, if you live too far for consultation, you can request a copy of one of our books and we may be able to uh, help you out virtually first before you come in. But the reason I do this is when I got into dental sleep medicine um, many years ago, uh, right when I first graduated, from my training in dental school, I was really fascinated by this. And as I started to see more and more patients that we would sedate in our dental office, I realized this was a much bigger problem than I even knew. And I would see it firsthand because as people were sedated, I would see them snore or gasp or not breathe very well and realize that that probably happens many nights with a lot of these people. And I wanted to help them because I knew that by helping their sleep improve, it was going to help their teeth and their mouth and their well-being and their energy. So we found that people with untreated sleep apnea have more broken teeth, more root canals, more shifting teeth, more gum disease, more dry mouth. And so reason one is because I had my teeth straightened. I wear a dental sleep appliance because it helps keep my teeth straight. It acts as a retainer. Reason number two is sometimes I've caught myself clenching my teeth in my sleep. Probably a side effect of sleep apnea. Most people with sleep apnea will clench their teeth. So I wear this to protect my teeth so that if I clench, I have this protective device to protect my teeth. 
And then the third reason, most important, is because sometimes I snore. Now I've done the testing for sleep apnea and I'm right on the border there. So I have not tested officially positive for sleep apnea, but I'm right there and I have a lot of family members on both sides of my family that have sleep apnea or have been treated for sleep apnea. So I know that my risk factor is high. And by wearing this device now, I sleep better, have more energy. My wife likes it because she doesn't hear me snoring when I'm wearing it, or at least not enough to where it would bother her or wake her up. And because I know that leaves me with more options in the future in the case that I did end up with sleep apnea and it worsened. So if you have some more questions, as I mentioned, you can reach out to us below. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.